Yes, yes. Welcome back or welcome to Absolute Dins. My name is Billy Cunningham and today we have a request from my friend Sarah Inge to make something Mexican and something vegan. I'm making lentil tacos. I'm not a vegan myself, as you know, but I do believe in being kind to animals. And we can be kind to animals by eating a little bit less meat. So let's crack on. Let's go! Right, first, we need to make a pico de gallo, or a little salsa. This is very quick, very easy, so let's get it. So, into a bowl, half a small red onion, one small chilli, handful of cherry tomatoes, I've got fancy coloured ones, some cilantro, or coriander, juice of a lime and some salt and that is that stir it up let that marinate for a while uh, the juices will come out of the tomatoes and it will be absolutely blinking lovely but that's it it's very very straightforward topping for your gear next is our spice mix take a little bowl now you can adapt this to however you like it. I'm going to go estimates. So, well, teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or chili powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, uh, some chili flakes, that many, some smoked paprika, and that is our spice mix. Now this vegan task, this vegan taco recipe will serve two, so just up your quantities as you go along if you so desire. Next, we have vegan mayo and some chipotle just to make a quick vegan mayo. Which was alright. About that much. What's that? Two tablespoons. Well, oh, I've got another spoon. About two teaspoons of chipotle. Squeeze of lime. Ah! Mmm. Wow, that's amazing. Genuinely, you wouldn't know that was vegan. Pan. I'm using a cast iron pan here. Medium heat. I want to heat up a little bit of olive oil. Popeye's misses. Well, I like Popeye today. <sighs> right, a lot of... A lot of the things I had for this recipe was actually in my spice cupboard. Um, and the tin lentils were like 45p. Fresh stuff was a couple of quid. So this is relatively cheap. Relative. Very burpy. Relatively cheap dins. Okay. What we're gonna do now is fry off our onion. So we've got the other half of the red onion here. We're gonna fry that off for a couple of minutes and it starts to cook. Soften. It's really hot today, but it is October and I'm well off. So if you do want to see more vegan recipes or anything like that, please give me a shout. Um, yeah, I like to try to do different things. Right, it's been about three minutes. Yeah, it's been about three minutes. So I'm going to add a bottle of blob of Tommy P. You want to cook that out for two or three minutes. That's a lie. You want to cook that out for about 30 seconds. Right, now that's cooked out, you want to add your spice mix. Toast off your spices. That wakes the flavor. Flavor. That wakes the flavor up. Toast spices for another 30 seconds. You know that game. Whoa, smells lovely. 
After 30 seconds, we're going to add our lentils in, which are drained out of a can. Thank you very much. Splash of boiling water and half a stocky sea. And that's it for now. You want to keep this stirring, crank up the heat a little bit. Now, I didn't add any salt or pepper into um, our spice mix. Because I'm going to season it after. Let's start now with a little pinch of says. Right, I'm going to cook this out until a lot of the water's gone and the lentils themselves have taken on all that lovely flavour. Now, of course, um, if you don't have all the spices available, you can use the little pre-packaged taco seasonings. Um, they're good enough. Um, they're just not, you know, you can... That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you... Taylor make. Another one. Taylor, make this to your own tastes. I've got some of this lime left over. So let's whack that in, wake it up a little bit. Wake me up! Wake me up! Wake me up. It's coming to a lovely, lovely consistency right now. What I'm going to do is turn the heat right down. I'm going to take my potato masher, just give that just a little once over. Break down some of those lentils so it's not all like that. Yeah, it's a beautiful consistency now. Taste it for seasonings. You see there, they're not all hard. Some are mashed up. That's really, really nice. All right, I'm happy with this. Uh, this took in total 14 minutes, and that's making everything really. Um, so I'm gonna move this to the back burner, let it cool, uh, then I'm gonna warm up a tortilla, dress it, and give it a go. Oh, also, um, the shop I went to um, didn't have any avocado, so I couldn't make a fresh guacamole or anything like that. I'm not gonna mention the store I went to, but it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> that um, it didn't go. So I managed to find this chunky guacamole gear. So we're gonna use that. Right, I'm gonna heat up the tortilla in the pan for like 30 seconds. Okay, cool. And let's build it up. Ah. So we put down our taco, a little dollop of guac, some of our lento taco gear, a little bit of our pico going in there, a little drib of our wonderful chipotle mayo, chipotle lime mayo, and a couple of jalapenos. One juicy boy. So this is probably going to dribble down me, but... Oh, brav. All right. Tear range. It's over to you. Oh, that's really messy. Really messy. Make these. Even if you are the biggest meat eater in the world. I know you want your steak. Here we go. Right. So. They were incredible. Um, I'm not going to eat vegan every day for the rest of my life. But I've got one new vegan recipe that absolutely slaps. Give it a go. Eat less meat. Have a nice time. That's your lot. Get out of it. Absolute Dins, brought to you by Billy Cunningham. Yes, yes. And Greg, the tortoise. Safe.